Ooh, look at what we got today. Using the old spinning rods today. Save is right behind me. We're about to go hit a spot for Gar. It's a spot that I've been tracking down for a while. The exit, there's two sides. You guys have seen me fish here before. And on this one side, there's a lot more Gar than normal. So we tracked them down. Like I said in the last video, guys, because I'm always trying to find new places to fish and we kind of like recon it just to see what those fish are willing to do, what we can film. And today's going to be literally just how to catch Gar. There's a lot of them in here, all different sizes. I see some spotted gar and some long nose. Biggest one around four foot. What's cool about this place is that it's a long, long swamp. So the fish I saw there yesterday could be different today. We have to go to my house to get some bluegill for bait, and I will see y'all at the spot. Talk about some heat. It's gotta be like 90 degrees out here today, but we're still gonna make this happen. Just arrived at my pond. If you're gonna go for gar, always get fresh bait. I love bluegill. Stays on the hook really well, and I have a lot of them around me. About three hours worth of fishing for what we're gonna be doing today. You need about two bluegill. Let's catch them real quick, and then we're gonna hit the road. This should not take long. At all, can fire it up. Pretty bluegill number one. Pretty bluegill and number two, about the same size. And the leftover, feed the fish. Thank you guys. And we're walking down to the spot now on the side of the road. If I'm new to the channel. There's, there's just something about gar and both, and I literally I can't catch enough of these fish. They're so unique, so cool, and the spots that they normally live in are pretty fun to fish. Like today we're going to be fishing off the side of the road in a little canal that breaks off into a lot of sections. So pretty much every time we come here I see some new fish, mainly new gar. I'm going to show you all gear, hooks, everything you're going to need just to come out here and just try to target these fish because they're really fun to catch. The biggest ones I've seen in here are probably around four foot, but like I said, you never know. I, oh my gosh, he's right there. Please tell me you could see him. He's right in there. He's coming around. <laughs> First gar of the day. All right, guys, for gear, super easy. This is just get your little spinning rod. Actually, the more bend I had, like a medium heavy, you get to fight these fish more. 14 pound test, just to a little circle hook. I use size two. Pretty much these gar today, they're, they're just scavengers. They're, they're just surfacing, they're always looking for food. The sun's out like it is right now, but it's a little bit windy. You can normally see these fish in the water. We'll be able to sight fish them today, but if not, we'll just jig for them off the bottom. And there could be some both in here. Actually, there is some both in. We could catch one today, too. They're all doing the same thing, looking for food. I'm gonna show you guys bait really quick. The most important thing about gar and bowfin fishing. Bowfin really doesn't matter the bigger the piece you have at it. Gar, I'm gonna show you guys. So right here, guys, probably about a five inch bluegill. Literally a six foot gar. We'll eat that piece right there. And that's kind of big. The size we're going to be catching today, chop up these fish just like that. That's the size you want to use. It's big enough to where you can cast, and when the gar bites us, it takes around two minutes to eat it. So the smaller the piece of bait, the better chance you have to catch them. This is the game plan today. Hopefully we're going to see some fish. We already saw one gar. It's a good sign. It'd be cool if we can sight fish them today. If not, like I said, we'll jig for them off the bottom. Zay, you ready to do this? Well, I'm ready. Let's catch some fish. All right, so let's go ahead and poke our bait right through. Make sure there's no scales on the hook. A giant gar just came up right in front of us and went back down. It was a pretty big one. Look, it was a spotted gar. We can get him on our first, our first cast down. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty big one. The water was a little bit choppy today and a little murky, so we'll catch a little calm spell. We can kind of see these fish a little bit better, but for right now, looks like we're gonna be jigging them. These fish are hungry and they're always active. They're always looking for food. Just gotta be patient with them. Another cool little trick you can do with guards that they're actually they're attracted to commotion. So even if I'm not seeing any, just move my bait through the water pretty fast, let it come up to the surface. Or we'll eat lures. You can pretty much throw anything at them and they'll whack it. There was Something that just surfaced right there. I did not see what it was. It's been a turtle, bowfin, or gar. There's a little gar in the back. I just saw him. And normally when you see a gar, they're grouped up together. You'll get like a little group of three or four. Oh, that was a bowfin, Zave. Cast to him. Oop, I'm getting bit. Something's got me. Oh yeah, I got one. All right, y'all, so when this happens, literally you gotta let the fish eat it. I don't know what it is, but the bowfin, I really don't wait that long. But gar, they're very tedious fish. You got one too? Go on, they grab a piece of bait. Like I said, they're normally in school, so they'll actually take it and just try to run with it to get to a better spot where they can eat it, and they slowly will kind of devour the bait like that. I don't know what I have. And you just gotta watch for snags too, because I don't know where this fish is going. Huh? I don't know, mine's going either. Yeah, I don't know. Zave, you said you have one too? Pretty sure I got one. All right, oh. doubled up. I'm gonna go for mine, just, just, just out of curiosity. Nope, and he's gone. <laughs> no, I got one. I got him, dude. He's still there, bowfin. You get him, Zay. You got him? Did we cross? What happened? Is that a cat? No, it's a bowfin. That's digging. Good lord. 
All right, well, let me try to see where I'm over you. Under you. There you go. There you go. Switch that to Zave. Go ahead and grab the old netter. Okay, he's pulling. He's in the he's in the tunnel. Do you have one, Zave? What do you got? What do you got? <laughs> Zave's got one too. What is it? What is it? Another bowfin, dude. Two bowfins. What? Look at that. All right. <laughs> they both ran at the same time. The net is not long enough. Okay, <laughs> I got him. Go ahead and take mine out. This dude's tail's all tore up. There we go. Dude, two bowfin? Doubled up. All right guys, so Zay drops his in the water so we did not get to see him. But mine is the biggest one. Uh, Zay was probably around, probably three pounds, around four or five. Look at this dude's tail, it's actually dripping blood right now. I don't know if he just got bit by something or they do that when they spawn, but it's not seasoned, so I don't know what happened to this guy. I feel super bad. But what a pretty fish. Let's go to the third home back and get some more. Toss you in, buddy. Thank you. He's gone kicking back strong. First fish, we had doubles on both fins. Literally, it's not what it's crazy. We're not trying to target that. The days that I am, I don't catch him. It's, it's super weird. And obviously, they're super hungry today, guys. So we're gonna bait back up. Let's get some more. All right, so let's get in here and grab us a new piece of bait. Freshly baited up. There's no little bowfin. He just came up right there. That one big gar keeps on coming up in this very spot right here. He's done it twice. The chance to catch him is gonna have to be quick. We're gonna have to see him right here and literally put a bait right in front of his face. And I'll probably follow it down and eat it at the bottom. But until then, I'm gonna keep on jigging. And just, you just always gotta keep your eyes open when you're doing this type of fishing. Because anything can come up at any second. If you're fast enough, it makes a difference if you're gonna catch him or not. There's a gar. I just pitched it right to him. He's going down towards it. I think he got it. Oh yeah, I got him. <laughs> he's going. Keeping my line tight so I cannot give him too much tension on the line, but I can still see where he's going. That's not good. He's going, he's going back. Dang it, dude. He might, oh, he's going too far, y'all. I gotta set him. He might turn back around. I got him. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Come here. I think I'm clear of snags. My phone's ringing. He's right here. Look at him dive, dude. Oh, look, look, look at him. Dude, I love Gar, man. I don't think I have him hooked too well, so I don't want him to jump. Come back around. Look at that fish down there. Getting it. All right, so this is going to be hard, man, how we're going to get him to in the net. You think you can get him? Look at him jump. Oh, he just spit it. Oh, did he really? Ah, I think he, yeah, he broke the line. Oh, it's all right though, man. He was he was pulling. I had him hooked though, dude. I think what happened is just it was, that line was so far in his mouth. I don't tie leaders to these fish guys, so they get very sensitive towards that. Free lining is the best way, so I think I actually might have had that gar hooked or he was just holding on to it in the back of his mouth and with him jumping, they have so many teeth, guys, they'll, they will cut that line in a heartbeat. That wasn't bad. That was probably around a two and a half, three foot gar. She was a long nose. Right, well, I'm gonna grab a new piece of bait and we're gonna do that again. See him eat it? If it's that boat thing, go ahead and give it to him. Huh? Got him? Get him, Zave. Boat fin! <laughs> oh, I see a gar back there too. Get him, man. <laughs> Here, let me get the net. The net! Hey, pull out them sticks. Hold on, bring them over here. There we go. Bow fin number three. He's not a bad one. Okay, and he's back in the water. Oh, the hook came out? Nice. All right, so the fish got back. We didn't get this really show them to you guys, but she gone back in the water. Now we're getting bit pretty fast. Normally the other side holds more bowfin. These last couple weeks, y'all, they have not been over there. I think from flooding or the bait fish might have moved over here. Something's making these fish change sides. Cause this is normally a little gar hole. Dave says he has a thump. We'll see. You got something? Get him, dude. What is it? What is it? Oh, dude, bigger bowfin. Bigger? A lot bigger? Oh yeah. Dude, look. <laughs> dude, I love the way they fight. We're gonna try to keep this one on the bank. Yeah. In the net. All right, Zave, what you think about your, your bow fin? Come on, come on, catch, man, fun catch. They fight like, they fight hard. I can't even keep them in my hands. They jump in the water. Yeah, I finally got this one. He, he's a good little one. 
About three pounds. I'm holding them about as long as I've ever held a boat pen, but. <laughs> Go ahead and toss them back. Let's, get them. Let's, let's actually do it on purpose. She gone. Hands down, bowfin have been biting today. One thing that sucks about gar, and bowfin do it too, but I've mainly seen this with gar. As soon as you start making commotion or like you catch one, it kind of starts to spook them a little bit. They start kind of staying at the bottom, not coming up for as much air. They know something's up. Not gonna show themselves that much. Very, very smart fish. All right, Mr. Gar. I'm seeing some back there. Oh, I got one eating it. What do we got here? I'm gonna go for this fish. Come on, buddy. I got him. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Maybe a gar and he just came off. No. All right, I got one running with and he's by snags. I'm gonna have to give it to him. See what we got. I got him. What is that, bowfin? Yes, sir. There's their spinning fish. A little baby. Look, look, look at this little guy. Yeah, a little, little tiny dude. I can flip him. Get up here. He's pretty, man. And this is probably our fourth or fifth bowfin. I kind of lost count. A little tiny guy, maybe around a pound and a half. He's not the biggest, but he's a gorgeous fish. And this is pretty unique about him too. He's got two eyes on him. Normally they just have one, and it's on both sides. It's a healthy fish, doesn't really twirl up on him. He should be a pretty big bowfin one day. Let's go ahead and throw him back, let him get bigger. Thank you, buddy. She gone. Yeah, I don't know the deal. Literally, we cannot keep these both. I mean, we're, we're catching fish. I'm happy. I just want you guys to know everything that we're talking about in this video today is like, it, it's it's a great tactic how to get gar. So if you got both in the area, you're gonna have to compete for them. We're gonna pull one in the bank today, though. We're gonna get them. All right, have my old piece on, but something just surfaced really quick right there. I just want to see what it is. I want the gars. All right, so we've been here about an hour. Hour's time. We're actually now on our second bluegill. We still have the whole head left. I said little shoulders on them too, but go ahead and whip out the old fresh blue gillian here. I'm already bit. I still got him, dude. He's still chewing on it. Right, I'm gonna go for him. Come here. What is it? What is it? What is it? I think it's a guard. He's shaking his head pretty good. Or a bowfin. Dude, what, what is the deal with these bowfins today, man? It's just, it looks like the same as that one I just caught, dude. And she's up. All right, hook is out. No, 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 no. Well, she's gone. Just, you can't hold on to him, dude. Think of it like, it's like an eel with scales, but the scales aren't like too strong. So like, there's, there's not much to hold on to at all. Well, there's one. There's an old gar. I can't see where his head's going. And he's not the biggest. Oh, he's right here. Y'all literally, oh, he just spooked. No, gotta track him down. Should've been heading somewhere this way. Something has me, I wanna say it's a bowfin, but I don't know. Yeah, because there's the guard, cast at the guard's name. I think I, I got a bowfin. Bowfin. That's a pretty good sized bowfin though. Oh, you got the gar? Oh, you had the gar, Zave. It's a pretty bowfin. Look at him dig, dude. Come on around, buddy. Such strong fish, man. Zay, you want to get the net for me? Got him. Pretty bowfin right here. This one's around four or five pounds. Once again, not what we want. There's too many of these things in here. Let's get them thrown back. Thank you, buddy. All right, y'all, we're leaving the spot now. I don't even know what happened today, I'm not gonna lie. A couple days ago, the guard were everywhere and they're still in here, it's just the bite just, it's just a shut off. Every time we drop a piece of bait in the water, the bowfin are attacking them, which is good because I haven't been catching a lot of bowfin out that spot, so they all just kind of moved to this side now, but it's just so crazy how gar work. I mean, I've been fishing for gar for a long time and out of the 20 years of my living and their living, that's as long as they live, around 20 years for long nose and spotted, they just, they still amaze me for what they can do. I, I learn so much about them every single time I come out. So, hope you guys did enjoy the video. We did somewhat hook a gar, but he came off. It gives me more motivation to come back out here and see if we can catch some more. So, if y'all want to see that, please leave a comment down below. I appreciate y'all looking Bass TV.